Welcome to this first edition of Three Minutes of Truth. I used to love the tagline on KYW News Radio. They used to say, you give us 22 minutes, some of you can finish it, you give us 22 minutes and we'll give you the world. You give us three minutes and we'll give you some truth from God's Word. Recently I was meeting with somebody uh, and they were asked me this question. They said, Pastor, how do I make Christ central in my life? How do I make Christ central in my life? And you know, there's a lot of things you can ask a pastor, and I've been asked many things. Sometimes people ask you things like after church, they might say, you know, why are the bathrooms not working and things like that, which is part of life, right, in a church. There's few things you could ask a pastor that would be more encouraging coming from someone who wants to follow Jesus as saying, how do I make Christ central in my life? And isn't that really the question for all of us as believers? Well, when that person asked me that question, my mind immediately went to 1 Peter 3.15 where the Apostle Peter, speaking to a group of Christians in the early church who were being persecuted, said this, But in your hearts, he said, honor Christ the Lord as holy. In your hearts, honor Christ the Lord as holy. Some translations say, set Christ apart as Lord in your hearts. So what does that mean? Well, for, for me, that means this. Jesus, we know, is already central because he's Lord of the universe. It's sort of like saying we don't make Jesus central any more than we make the sun the center of the universe. It already is. But what it really means is that I'm aligning my heart with who Jesus is in that moment. And really, folks, this is where the rubber meets the road. That In the moment by moment, give and take of life, what it means for me to make Christ central, to set Jesus apart as Lord, to honor him as Lord, is in that particular moment, whatever that challenge is, whether it's joy or sorrow or suffering or trial, whether it's irritation, whatever it is, I pause and I remember who Jesus is in this moment, that he is my Lord, that he is in control of my life, that he is forgiving, that he is loving, that he is merciful, that he is present through his Holy Spirit. And in that moment, I, I, it's like taking the compass of my heart and pointing it toward true north, which is, which is Jesus, and asking in that moment for the grace and the mercy that is available to me to orient my heart toward remembering that I am ultimately a child of his and asking him to give me guidance in that moment. And that is what it means to make Christ central. And so let's all remember to do that today. And that is three minutes of truth for you today. Lord bless. Mm -hmm.